What's going on golfers? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, this is Bogues Vertis Golf Vlog and I am Mike, your host. Please hit that subscribe button for me, ring the bell, get notified. Um, play golf Myrtle Beach had me down uh, last time to play Tidewater Golf Club, if you didn't see that one, it's up there. Uh, we're gonna play Presswick Golf Club, which is a legend uh, design course. Uh, Pete Dye, actually, and his, his son, PB Dye. They both did it. I think it was PB Dye to the front, and Pete to the back, and there's definitely some difference differences in their design, but I like them both. Um, this course is rated 74.6 from the back and 140 slope, uh, just over 7,000 yards. I played from the Blues, which was uh, 72.8 and 136, and about 67.50 uh, yardage. Uh, definitely a tough course, um, but we'll jump into the footage and we'll talk then. All right, a little bit about how I got down there to Myrtle Beach and uh, some info about Presswick. So first off, big thank you to PlayGolfMyrtleBeach.com. If you've never been there, uh, check out the website. The uh, info should be below in the details. They've got everything you need to know about the golf courses in the golf capital of the world. So from tee times to rates to stay and play packages to just cool information and factoids about the golf courses down there, uh, that website has it all. All right, a little bit about Presswick Golf Club. So built in 1989 by the legend Pete Dye and his son PB Dye. You know, keep an eye on the news lately, you may have seen that Pete Dye recently passed, but I still want to just throw a big shout out because this is a great course and he's an awesome designer. So if you're down there in Myrtle Beach and you've never played a Pete Dye course, check this one out because it's awesome. told my wife when we were at this course you know one of the things I really liked was that when you looked back from the green to the tee box you still had this awesome view these rolling hills the bunkers and the railroad ties and the landscaping was just perfect other stuff you know they have 10,000 railroad ties on this course now you can see it on some of them on the retaining walls on the greens really give you some cool Scottish look to it and I thought I thought that would be really cool how they did that all right let's talk rates you know this course throughout the year you're gonna spend somewhere between probably 50 bucks to 100 bucks so it's probably a little up there in, in some of the, the rates that I normally show you guys in golf courses. But you know, it's a touristy area, so you're gonna spend a little bit more. And honestly, for the conditions, I would not be disappointed. All right, thanks for hanging with me, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and share me on some social media sites. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Pete Dye. I mean, he's a legend, you know, RIP. I hope his, his sons can keep carrying on his legacy 
and uh, put some challenging courses out there. And let me know if you've played here. What, what Pete Dye courses have you played? Um, and what are your thoughts? All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Stay mediocre.